Hey ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another template giveaway here. This one is for uh, medium sized blog posts here that you can use uh, for your website, right? It's just to display blog posts. So what I'm going to do is do a preview here so you can see how well it works. So when you hover on one of these items, it moves up like that. So I'm going to see how to do that. And of course, if you go and change, I then went to the wrong place. So I'm going for responsive design here. I want to see how responsive it is so I can move that. And as you can see, it's quite responsive. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. So let's dive in and create. Now, if you don't want to create with us, that's fine. You can just download the template. The link is in the description free of charge. Use it for personal commercial use. Credit is not required, but you can link the website if you feel like doing so. Everything there is free anyway. Okay, so let's begin our own design here. I'm just going to leave the preview, the print preview here so we can make reference to it. And let me start a new project by just refreshing the page. All right, so to begin with here, uh, oh, by the way, this when you go to the page for the template, you can click edit template to edit it as always. That way you can change whatever details you'd like. So I'm going to go add component here. I'm going to go to add empty, add a background like this one. Select it, make sure properties is on. Let's go to the background color here. And I want to change to hush 222. There we go. Then I'm going to add some padding as well. Maybe 10 pixels. That should be good. Add a, an empty div like this one. I'm going to go to width and remove by clicking the X to remove the width. That's limitation. That width limitation there. And I'm going to add components to just one H1 tag. Just go to edit and duplicate while that H1 text is selected. So I'm going to shift select both texts like this and go to margin and make sure I have a zero type a zero there. Select the big thing, go to height and remove the height requirement. Go to display over here. And let's add flex instead. So they're side by side, justify content center. And what else we're going to do? Let's make sure this can wrap around when needed. So we put it on no wrap just so we can come back to wrap again to make sure it's cemented there. And then I can remove the background. Now, let me put a limit here before I do that. I'm going to go to width and I want to have a maximum width of 1200. Now it moves to one side. So we're going to go to margin and put margin auto. Then I'm going to do edit, duplicate this item here. Um, I will remove the background color of the one on top like that. And then now we can um, type some text like blog. This one is posts. While that posts is selected, we're going to go to font and change the font family to Tahoma. I want to change the font size to 30 pixels. Same here. 30 pixels on this other one as well. Now these are not well aligned. So select this item here, the entire div, go to the display flex, but I want to change the align items to center. Okay. That does it. Now this one, I want to click and drag the height of this item like so, so I can have more space over here. Then I'll select this text there and delete because I don't need it. Same thing here, delete, select this item. I want to change the background color somewhat uh, so I can see anything new I add better. Then I'm going to add an element. So I'm going to empty div, add that empty div, which is right here. Then I will click and drag around like so. Uh, click and drag again. Now you can put direct values over here. So width, let's try 300 pixels. Doesn't look enough. Now does it? Nope. 
I think let's try 350. I think that's better. 350. Let me go ahead while that's selected and add components image. Select that image, put a width of 100, select percent. Then on the height, I think let's add something like 250. That looks great. Select this main one, remove all its padding. So padding, delete. Add some margin, 10 pixel, so that when there are several of these, they will give each other space. I'll select that image, click on images. Now I can choose one image to add here. So we're in products, I'll add that one. Down here, I want some um, padding around the content. So now since I've removed all the padding here, I would rather put a new div in there. But for this one, I will add a background color that is white. Then go ahead and add a new empty div here. Go to the width, remove that width. And let me add more padding in there, maybe 20 pixels. Do I need that? I think I do. 20 pixels. Then I'm going to remove the height requirement. Or maybe I could put the height at 100%. Ah, that didn't do justice now, did it? No. So I'm just going to remove the height requirement. Okay, very good. And then in here, I will just add a bunch of items like div text. And while that is selected, I will add grids. Then go to grid and add this grid here. Now, this is just two items with a display of flex. So I'll select this one, go to width. There's a minimum width requirement. I'll remove that. Select this one, remove that as well. Now they are sharing equal space. They do have a minimum height requirement, so I'll remove this one here. But before I remove for the other one, because it's going to collapse, I want to add an element. Here I will add icons. Any icon will do. Then I can go ahead now. Actually, before I completely remove that, let me add a component, div text. Then while it's selected, let's remove that height requirement so it collapses. Let's remove its background color as well. And then while that is still selected, I will go to display and change that to flex. Let's align item center. We don't need to justify the center. Here, I want to add this part here, the date. So I'm going to go uh, May, doesn't have to be August, uh, May 14th, comma, 2023 or something. This is not the actual date, of course. So let's select the icon image. There's icon part here. Then I can look for a calendar. And you can choose any of these calendars here that you wish. Go to font. Let's change that to 20 pixels. Make sure it's selected. Change that to 20 pixels size. Now there are two, three of these, right? If I select the text here, right click, select parent to select the container. I can then go edit and duplicate. So now there are three of these items, but I don't need the second one. I can delete it. Then select this icon. Obviously now we want a comment icon. So we're gonna go, I don't think it's called comment. Maybe it is, select one of those. Uh, let's do some text change that text to comment let's put a valid number there maybe 10 comments like this let's put an s now this text over here i'm going to do edit duplicate now it is moved to the bottom let me slide right click and move up so it's there let's go to our good friend lorem ipsum here and grab some content so just some simple text here we can use as content replacement or placeholder i will select let's see here uh, my mouse is misbehaving quite a bit so let me select that maybe up to here that's good enough oh my god what did i just do so select that up to here co copy and now, if you're having trouble, copying sometimes can lead to 
unwanted behavior in this program because I haven't added a code to actually clean out any formatting that comes with the text. So a workaround is you can open Notepad, for example, and paste your text in here, then copy it from here and paste it where you want. But for as long as you select where I've selected here in this actual text that doesn't have any formatting, that's okay. You don't need to do the Notepad part. This one here, uh, this is the title. So I'm going to say blog post from free template or something like that. Let's go ahead to the font here and change the font size to maybe 18, let's see, 20 pixels, maybe more, 25. Let's see, what do we have on the original? I think that looks about right. Mm -hmm. So now I can select this container and what to do here is change the color. This is too uh, this is too bright. Let's reduce the color, text color. I'm not even sure what I can use here. Maybe B A B A. That looks reasonable enough. Then select this one and change that to white, so that that one at least is brightest. Let me select the thing that holds everything and remove its um, background color. Then go ahead and say edit, select parent to select this container here. And I need a background color here. So I'm gonna do hash 333, that should be good. And then go to the height and remove its height requirement. So it can go all the way down. So with that, it should have a margin of 10 pixels, which is great. I think that does it. I don't think the color here is low enough. So select this main thing, and then reduce it even further. Like, so. wait, why is my mouse fighting so much? Okay, so we're gonna do a very direct color like hash 888. I think that would be better. Now there's a slight issue here, I think. The main thing is there a margin on this thing? I don't know. Let me go to margin 10 pixels, that's fine. Let's go to padding, there's nothing. So which means there's something weird going on. I don't know about this space over here. So there is some padding. What about margin? There is nothing, right? Eh, doesn't look like it's an issue at all. So while that is selected, the main thing uh, to make sure it's the main thing selected, you can select this. Uh, oh no, my mouse is gone. It has finally surrendered. Oh goody. Oh no, I done lost my mouse. Huh. Okay. Okay. No problem, I have the mouse on my laptop here. So select the this one with this color here. This is gonna be a pain, but I can do it. And then go to edit and say select first child to select this first item here. Then it's just a matter of duplicating. So duplicate, duplicate, wah, wah, wah. And then we're gonna select this guy, go to height, and remove the height requirement and as well the background color. While we're at it, we can select this one, the main thing here, and remove its height requirement as well so it can cover all the content. Now what remains here is just simply changing the images. So let's go here and let me click on there. Now uh, since this is kind of like blog posts and not products, so you can use this for products, of course. I'm going to go here to photography, select that, and I can just select all images that look like this could be a blog post, right? And just go ahead and change a few of these. Alrighty then, where is the other one? There we go. 
very good so look at that it's looking great i like it let's go ahead and do a preview so we can see what we are dealing with right so select it there very nice and if i go over here go to tools uh, responsive design there we can clearly see that it's highly responsive and this is great all right guys so i hope you have learned something here because of course you may not even use this software but at least i mention every css style that i add to these things that way you can make your own version even by typing the code yourself the html code yourself all right guys so i'm going to see you in another tutorial remember to download the template and use it as you wish the link is in the description I'll see you in another tutorial.